In today's video, we just got finished with a nine and a half hour long stream. And uh, the secret to improvement, guys, I have it right here. Everybody always asks me on my Twitch stream, how do you get good? How do you get good? I always say to watch players that are better than you. Today, I spent nine hours watching RLCS. Yesterday, I spent eight hours watching RLCS. And you know what? I am absolutely peaking in these matches. I feel like I'm making every decision right. Every touch is good. Every flip reset is good. So if you guys want to watch me absolutely peak for this one simple reason, well, enjoy the video. All right, getting into game number one, we got Tiber here. Again, using the City Slam LTE decals. Um, I had a lot of people like kind of making fun of me or, or maybe just poking fun or whatever. Uh, at me for making a sponsored TikTok with the Slitty Slam decal. I just want to say, I am not sponsored to be making a YouTube video or YouTube videos with these decals. I genuinely just like the look of them. I think they look pretty cool on the on some of the Dominus designs. So, just to put that out there, I was sponsored to make that one short, and people kind of like made fun of me for it or whatever. Which I don't know. I have my opinions about because like. I feel like if you guys are a supporter of my content, you would want to see me getting sponsorships rather than like making fun of me for getting them. But um, I understand it's probably all just in good fun. Uh, but anyways, I'm not sponsored to make these videos with the with the decals. I genuinely just like them. Uh, but yeah, anyways, getting into game one. Got two goals up in 30 seconds. I'd like to see that. Go for the boost here. I've been watching the RLCS Major like all day today. I just got done doing a nine and a half hour long broadcast to uh, watch party. And let me tell you, as Bates would say, let me tell you, that was actually exhausting. Um, but it was a lot of fun and I feel like I'm, I'm probably a lot smarter of a player now for it. You know, a lot of the times when I play Rocket League, I kind of just autopilot and I just do whatever. But I mean, playing or, or watching professional players at the highest of their level will um, make you a smarter player. Like, I, I just kind of, not that I see the game in a different way now, but definitely, you know, watching decisions that pro players will make will definitely make me smarter. It'll make me like a calmer person because I've, I've seen a bunch of plays or players under high pressure that aren't faltering. And so when I get in those situations in my games, of course, I'm not going to falter. Um, try to hit that around him. Nice. Uh, so I, I, I like playing after I watch a bunch of RLCS. Like, even if it's better when I go to the land and I watch it in person, because when I watch it in person, I am forced to not play any Rocket League at all and just watch Rocket League for like two, three, four days straight of professional players playing it, right? And then when I actually come back to the game, I just feel like so enlightened, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the, the mechs are a little bit rusty for a second because I took a long break, but I just feel so enlightened with the way I challenge the ball, the way I like will force the ball back to my teammates, the way... Ooh. Now, I don't always feel enlightened about my teammates' decisions, to be honest. Because, um, you know, part of... Part of, like, RLCS and pro gameplay in general... Wait, double? Oh. Part of RLCS and pro gameplay in general is obviously like every single player is at like the highest level so they're all making good decisions and they don't really have to play like relying on their teammates to or play in a way that you would in ranked where you kind of cushion your teammates and you kind of just coddle them you know like sometimes you have to play for your teammates mistakes obviously RLCS players are not doing that because their teammates are also professional players and they're not making those mistakes um, so that's the one thing it doesn't help with but I feel like it helps me so, so much with my own individual gameplay that it just like doesn't matter whether or not my teammates like make mistakes. I just feel like a lot smarter of a player. I don't know if y'all feel the same way. Why don't try in here? I don't know. I feel like they're not really putting a lot of pressure on our net at all, and maybe that is because of my just enlightenedness. Whatever. Maybe that is. Maybe I am doing good things to. Uh, like making good challenges and, and making good plays and mm, he's gonna demo me. Okay, he can't. Tiber got bumped all the way back though. Okay. But um I don't know, I feel like they're just not really putting it together all that well as far as like actually making threatening challenges. Yeah, I mean Trizen just flipping up field. He, he's clearly not really trying anymore. Which is ironic because his name is Trizen. But uh anyways, they're probably gonna forfeit. 
Okay, they're not gonna forfeit. Um, I don't know why. I feel like this is just kind of a waste of everybody's time. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna send a special note to my editor. I'll tell him to just cut this game short. And uh, I'll see you all in game number two. All right, getting into game number two, we got Pika Kami playing against Trizen and K. Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna take this full boost here. Fake this. Should be able to just pop that up over him. Maybe get one more. All right, he can go. Oh brother! Oh brother! How do? How are we missing that? How the? How the hell are we missing that? What? Oh my god. Sorry, I spoke a little bit of Cardi... Cardi knees there. Dude, how... Okay, listen. I'm not one to like... Highlight mistakes all that much. Actually, maybe I am. But I feel like we can't be missing that. I feel like that is like the the most open of open that, that we're gonna get here. In this rank, man. I mean... Come on now. Brother! Brother! Uh, I'm gonna try to go for a demo here, maybe. What? Okay, now I'm not getting my demos. Oh, it's chalked. This game is over. <laughs> of course, the game's not over, but man. Okay, he's gonna get that. I'm just gonna go across for boost here, because I don't think Trizen's gonna be able to convert that. Oh, and I missed the big boost. Okay, he might be getting scored on here. Wow, nice. Good, uh, good touch from him. I'm gonna play this. Uh... Okay, it's around me. Pika. Nice. Not, not nice. That's gonna go out mid. I gotta get back here. Gotta hit that. Hopefully he can go for it, I think. Nope. He's getting bumped. Not bumped, but... Yeah, I'll just take a 50 there. It's fine. Going for a mid boost that actually isn't even there. He can just backflip on that, right? Nope. Okay. Hit it out. Nice. That's fine. Even though he gets the last touch on that, like, it doesn't really matter. My goal was mostly just to keep it out of danger. And, uh, I kept it out of danger, so... We're good. Okay, we're on Trizen. That should be fine. He should have a free ball here if he can just control it. Take a look, see where he is here. Click that. Wow. Okay. I mean, listen, sometimes, like, sometimes the gameplay is just so schmoove, dude. There's something about, like, a simple dribble into a catch top corner flick, man. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Like, I feel like just sometimes, you know... It's not even necessarily the, the triple flip resets, the quadruple penta musties. You know, it's just the simple stuff, man. And stuff like that just... Oh my god, it just makes me so happy. I don't know. It like scratches an itch, you know what I mean? I'm gonna hit that off the backboard there. Try to just make sure that I don't give him a lot of time or space to, to think about that. Okay, K is up for that. It's fine. I'll just force him. I'm gonna get a bump on him, maybe. Uh-oh. Sorry. Should not have touched that. Did not mean to touch that, but it happened. I have no boost here. I'm just gonna fake this. He's gonna hit it up there. That should be fine. Nice. I gotta kind of waste some boost here. Make sure I take this one. He's gonna be awkward. 1v1. I think my teammate should have boost here. Nice. Good save. That was kind of scary, but... Yeah, I gotta... He's got a shot on net here. Is he gonna get back for me? I yeah, know he's not. 34 boost here. He's pre-jumping that, so I'll just leave. Get a demo. Try to get a demo on Trizen as well. I do bump him, but... I guess it's not a demo. Over him? No. He's pre-jumping high. I think I should be able to get that. Maybe go for a demo on Trizen. Close. Make sure I don't get demoed. I'm gonna take this across. Hit it over him. Yeah, I don't want to let him, like, steal my boost there, obviously. Fake that. Maybe over him. Get a demo. Shot? Close. Close. I can't really um, do anything to affect the ball there, so... Best thing I can do is just uh, try to... You know, demo the guy that's in net. And then... Oh, I did not have enough boost to, to waste that much. Um, if I if I got that pre-flip touch like a little bit closer, definitely could have been fine. And if I had gotten... If I had used a little bit less boost to actually accelerate myself towards the ball... And gotten the flip reset like a little bit later, or just been a little bit more efficient with my boost, then it would have been fine as well. But it's all good. Um, I'm gonna take this, take that. Zero boost here. A little awkward. Okay. Been on Pika. Nice. 
Put on Tries in there. Get a shot. What a save, dude. What a save. Gotta fake that. I mean, if I dive in there and, and he gets the save, like, all it does is really just adds momentum towards the ball for the clear from him. Like, so then instead of actually having to get a clear, all he needs to do is, like... I'm gonna hit that over. Oh, good challenge from him. We get a touch, Pika. Look at back here. Let him go. Nice shot. There we go. Nice shot from Pika. Good stuff. Um, but if I get a touch there, all it really does... If I get a powerful touch, all he has to do is block it, and then it automatically gets cleared out to the corner or something like that. Whereas if I slow myself down, you know... Don't jump! Oh, that's gonna be a goal, isn't it? Okay, I can get a double there. Nice. He might be able to shoot that. Oh, it's so easy. I I'm telling you the game just makes more sense. I'm telling you the game just makes more sense. Like, even that double there. You, you guys might say, oh, it's an unintentional scope. I meant to do that. I'm telling you the game just makes more sense. Everything just, like, flows way smoother. You know, the gameplay just, oh, just comes naturally. Maybe you get a shot? No, I don't think he... Okay, still can't wall dash that well, but that's okay. Nice, GG. We'll get right into game number three. I'll see you all then. All right, game number one, or not game number one, game number three. We got Aug here. Aug playing against Wes and period. Try to get it over there. Let's see if I can get this big boost. Wait on Aug. Yep, fake this. Okay, Aug over to me. Aug. Yep, gonna fake this. I would honestly go for that, but I feel like Wes just already had such a good challenge like lined up that. There was almost no point. Oh, might have ungold that. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. Oh, let's try on the 50. I'm just gonna go straight for the ball there. He should be able to get that. I'll fake. Nice, wait on Wes. He's gonna beat me there, so I'll just, again, just fake it. Take the 50. Uh oh. I'm bumped. Oh, I'm bumped. I was trying to fake that so I could take possession of it, but obviously getting bumped there wasn't ideal. Um. I was also hoping he would be behind me to back me up, but uh, I guess he just thought I was gonna like, I don't know, get a touch or something. I don't know. I can't really put that one on him, obviously. Shot! No, oh, I missed. Gotta get back here. Do some boost. Okay, he should be able to get that for free. It's fine. Hit on this. Hit behind. Hit it over. Get back here. Make sure I'm not... Oh, I, dude, I knew that he could have done that. I just didn't expect it to be so perfect. I really just didn't expect that to be so perfect, man. Uh, I was looking out for it, too. And it was just... I don't know. Maybe I just should have gone back to the net to give myself a little bit more time to react. I was kind of stuck in between, like, diving on the ball or uh, going all the way back to net to, to give myself time. And I guess I just chose wrong. Maybe I chose right and I just reacted a little bit too slow. I feel like I definitely could have reacted to that. I just didn't. I don't wait on Hog here. Okay, fake this. Fake. Let him go. Wait on. Uh, can you hit it across, maybe? Fake this. Over one. Maybe you get an extra touch. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, that's exactly what you want to do. I mean, when you go for the flip reset and you hear them jump, if you can get the flip reset and then still stay on the ball, it's exactly what you want to do there. Because the first guy's going to be playing your low touch. Get the flip reset. Go over him. And then you're still able to stay on the ball. Like, perfect. Oh, he was there. Unlucky. Whoa. How the... What? Did he pinch that with the other team? Like, he tried to get a 50 with the other team, but he ended up pinching it with them. I don't really know. He's going to beat me to that, though. Got to be kind of careful. I'll go for the... Nice. Low boost here. He's going to shoot that on target. I mean, not the best, yeah, but I'm going to be able to steal his boost now. Oh, I can take that. Wait on this. I should be able to take this. Over? Okay, I'm bumped. That should be fine for him, honestly, if he just wants to... Take this, get a demo. Get it high. I'll take this back boost as well. Okay. Might be able to just take it across. Take that. Nice. Now all can take that. And I think he has boost because I think he took the other, like the mid. Take that. 
Oh, that's not gonna go up. It's just gonna go out. That should be fine. We'll be able to take this. Oh, it just didn't go fast enough. <laughs> oh, no. I tried to pass that to Aug, but it just went way too slow, and so he wasn't able to go for it. One of them was gonna be able to intercept it if he did. Yeah, I should be able to just stay on that, get a pinch. Clear that up. Okay, I can take this boost as well. Nice. I'll get back here, let Aug go. Hopefully he can just, like, force the ball. Nice. Watch for the demo there. I know he didn't go for it, but, you know, if he does go for the demo there, then Aug's gonna be put in an awkward spot. And I want to reduce the amount of awkward spots that I put my teammate in, uh, if at all possible. Alright, fake this in case he misses. He does miss. Perfect. Good 50 there. I didn't commit to it too much. Because, uh, you know, if Wes got, like, a clear around me, and I'd flipped forward, then it would have taken me longer to get back. Um, and it ends up working out. So, great 50 from us. Been on AUG. Okay. Gotta fake this. Nice. I'm awkward. AUG, can you go? Nice. Take this boost. Not because I really needed it or anything, but just because I didn't want him to get it. You know? Yeah, I'm not gonna go for that. It's gonna go down. And I should just be able to avoid the demo. Nice. I'll wait on him. Right on the touch here. He's awkward. I'm gonna try to get this big boost. Okay. Get that clear. Nice. I can just go right over him. I can get a touch. Okay, watch the demo. I knew that it was gonna come in. I mean... Pretty obvious there. He's he's rotating from our half of the field, and I know that he's going to be rotating on my side of the field because the ball's on the other side. And so, you know, his obvious option there, if he wants to actually contribute to the play, is to go for a demo. So it can't really hurt to kind of, like, jump and try to disrupt that. It's a good control touch from Aug here. Kind of haven't really been able to go for the ball too much, but that's fine. Like, the worst thing you can do as... Not the worst thing you can do, but one, one big mistake you can do as a player is think... Oh man, I haven't touched the ball in a while. I should dive in at whatever the smallest opportunity is the next time. That is horrible, horrible thinking there. Um, it's off. Oh, nice. It's a horrible way of thinking. Um, and it's going to get into you into a lot of trouble. Especially, there's some times where you just aren't meant to go for the ball for a long time. And that's okay. Um, I'm going to hit that up and then... See up? Oh, it's over him. Hog might be able to shoot that. If he wants to go for a double tap, he can. Oh. Yeah. Wait, he's awkward. Okay. Good flip reset. Trying to get a dunk there. Unlucky. Kind of just goes out a little bit too far. Um, I knew that I had a better angle on that one than Og did because, you know, I was going to be approaching it from directly under the ball. Whereas he was kind of like side on, so I knew it was going to be a little bit harder for him to actually get like a good air dribble there. So I just took it. Okay, just fake this. Go for a demo. I got the bump on him, but it didn't register. Maybe it just wasn't enough of a bump. Bumped him. Ah, it's still not going to be in. He's he's going to score that, I think? No. Maybe I can... Oh, he's stuck in the net. Okay, I got to be careful here. He's going to be on this. He can go for that. Nice. To fake this, just watch for the touch. Let him go first, because he's in front of me. Uh, again, I'll just fake this. Can't get that, it's in. That's a good play, I mean, it's kind of just... Nothing I can really do there. Once he dives in and just, just misses it, like, I have to kind of fake this, because he can shoot it, and then... Yeah. That's tough. Uh, I could have reacted a little bit better, though, but all good. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.